everybody, I am Nico D. So I bought the Oldroid H34 a few weeks ago. This has got the Amlogic S905 X3, so the same as the Oldroid C4. The only difference with the Oldroid C4 is that the Oldroid C4 has got USB 3, while this only has got one USB 2 port and two SATA ports. So you can use full size hard drives from 3.5 inch. And it also can power these hard drives, so this is great for this. So I bought the HC4 to use it as an ass, but I thought I will try some gaming and it is really great for gaming too. So the biggest advantage with the HC4 is that you can use a hard drive for your games, so you can store a lot of games on it. I am now using a 500 gigabytes hard drive. I've only filled it with 200 gigabytes of games, but it is already way too much for Emu Elec. I can hardly find a game when I need one. So first to download Emu Elec, we can go to Google and we search for Emu Elec downloads. I am going to use the beta version of 4.0. So this is the first 64 bit version of Emu Elec. So the earlier versions were 32 bits. Now it is 64 bits and this makes a few games work a lot better than it used to. So some games work a lot better now on the HC4 than it used to work on the N2+, but I guess on the N2+, this will have improved also now. So just download this image, write it onto an SD card and boot it. So to use an external storage device, either a SATA hard drive or a USB device, we create a folder ROMs on that storage device and in there we create a file emuelec roms without any extension. So that is all that needs to be done. With this emuelec we'll know where to find the games. So let's start playing. So as you see all my games are loaded into emuelec and it are really a lot of games. I would not know how this would be with one terabyte full of games. Right now it is already too much. So let's start with Sonic. Of course this has no problems with Sega Master System, Mega Drive or NES, NES. Also with PlayStation games it does it perfect. The CPU is clocked at 1.9 GHz, can be clocked to 2.1 GHz. So that is more than powerful enough for these games. Let's shoot him in the balls! That'll teach him.
The default emulator for Nintendo 64 doesn't perform that well. It does look good, but it is very laggy, so we need to use another emulator for it. So I need to use the third emulator here, so with the second emulator I cannot turn. And that's a problem, certainly with racing games. So it makes it look a lot worse, but you can play most of the Nintendo 64 games like this. So all these games work pretty well. So now let's go to Dreamcast. So Aqua GT. This is a game that also played well on the N2 Plus. So I didn't expect any problems here. Not all Dreamcast games run well, so here is Test Drive Le Mans. The sound is very buggy and the frame rate is too low. The N2 Plus had the same problem with sound, it did run a little better. One of the games that didn't used to run well on the Odroid N2 Plus, but that now runs well on the Odroid C4 or HC4 is San Francisco Rush.
Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10-4. Cargo secured on board and... What? Didn't that copy that. Over. Is gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What in the Come world? Here. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog! <laughs> about low-budget flights, no food or movies, I'm out of here. I like running better. to finish some PSP games, so this is better than I expected. So for this the 64-bit version of Emu Elec is important. With the 32-bit version a lot of games have got artifacting, here this isn't a fact. So Toka 2 is a very hard game to emulate, most SBCs have problems with it, but the old word HC4 does it pretty well, not perfect, but it is okay, it is playable.
So my conclusion is that the Oldroid HC4 is great for gaming, Emu Elec 4 is really awesome, it plays a lot of games pretty well that didn't used to work, so that is great. I'm gonna try Emu Elec 4 on my Oldroid N2 Plus 2. I am amazed that the Oldroid HC4 can game so well, it doesn't perform that much worse than the Oldroid N2 Plus, so that was a surprise for me. I'm very happy with the Oldroid HC4. It is a great NAS, it is a great multimedia station, it is a great gaming rig and it is awesome that it can power full HDs. So that's it for today, I hope you all liked my video, thank you all for watching, see you all later, bye!